Hello, Vettel121 here. Welcome back. And we are Let's Playing Chronicles of the Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate. And in the last episode, we made it back to the Citadel of Kizareth. And uh, now we're actually going to explore Tezeroth um, for some new items, basically. Some, uh, some crap. They might sell some new crap here. At least that's what it said in the walkthrough I was reading. So yeah, this, that's actually the first time I, well, second or third time I should say, <laughs> I've actually looked at the walkthrough that was provided uh, for me from um, NecroVMX. So thanks a lot for the walkthrough, man. Okay, so we have diamond blades here. Yeah, I'll pick them up. Morning Star. Uh, I do believe I'll get one of those. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm taking into account the characters that aren't in my party right now. So maybe I need one of those. Maybe I need one of those. I could need one of those. And Kadar can use a diamond scythe. Or scythe. Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead and equip some of this stuff. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Powerfully built sword that cleaves enemies easily. I don't know how true that is, but whatever. Looking that, and did I get a better staff for Isis? No, I guess not. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay, so we can get diamond equipment here. Resistant to poison. Alright. So yeah, I'll pick this uh pick a couple of these up for characters I have right now. Oh, that's definitely better for Kadar there. Jeez. Well actually no, he can't use it anyways because he's got that side, that two handed shield, or weapon I should say. So that doesn't really matter for him then. Then a gauntlet, diamond gauntlet. Resist paralysis and stun attacks. Okay, that's actually really good. I need to pick those up. Ring that war ring that is warded against the gate poison and sleep. Wow. Nice. Uh well, as you can see I have well, as you know, I have more than just these four characters. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna off screen buying all the optimal equipment for all the characters I have and uh, go from there. Alright, went ahead and bought the optimal equipment for all the characters. That would be all the characters. I don't really think it's necessary to show you all the equipment setups I have so far, but I did sell my excess equipment and mainly the equipment that I did keep. Uh, I didn't keep any weapons or anything, but as far as the armor that I kept, uh, I basically just kept stuff that uh, is kind of like um, equipment that helps against status ailments or elemental attacks like the infernal armor here and like frost cloaks and I think I kept some ice shields didn't I? Yeah some ice shields up here. So in case I run into some really tough enemies that deal out a ton of damage with those kind of elements uh, I have them just kind of laying around in case I need them. I'm not anticipating that I will but just in case, you know, you never know. So let's go ahead and explore the rest of um, Tezeroth here. All right, we get a mid ether. Apparently, we can get new items in this uh, in Tezeroth now. What the hell is this? War is truly upon us. Yes, it is. Hello, Mr. Horsey guy. Okay. What's in here? The bar? Ezra, the Black Dalian's voice filters into your own thoughts. Emperor, always good to see you out and about. Right. That weird horse that was talking earlier on in the game. With Krista. Or something. If I remember correctly. That really weird part. <laughs> So we have a stables here, okay. Well that's fine. Let's check out the well again. Alright, we get an elixir. Very nice. 
Damn it, these stupid Cora Quakes destroyed my tavern. Now I'm going to have to rebuild this damn thing. Oh, that sucks. Is there anything we can do to help? I guess not. It's not right now, anyways. So yeah, they've been getting quakes, apparently. Preparations for war? Bah. Enough of the preparations already. Let's show Valdres why the world fears our might. Yes, let's. Well, yeah, of course something's up. War is up. Yeah, I did uh, unequip the warrior bracelet from Zeria, mainly because I'm going to do this. All these power vials that I have in my inventory, I'm going to end up giving it to her because she is probably going to benefit most from the stat increases from these power vials. So, uh, yeah, I'm giving it to her. Now, with the, uh, the thing that she had equipped, she had 159 strength. Now she has 165 with all those power vials that I gave her. But with the diamond gauntlet equipped, she'll have protection against uh, paralysis and stun. Which is nice. Definitely sounds like a good thing, seeing as I hate that status ailment in this game. Really cripples the fuck out of you. Alright, we get another power vial, so guess who that's going to? And as far as uh, defense vials and intellect... Well, I was Actually, I, was, I think I was told the defense vials would be better on mages. So yeah, why don't I just fucking give these to mages? Why not? I mean, he is, after all, like, you know, increased magical power by three. You know, I, I, I'm thinking maybe I should give these to Isis, but I'm going to hold off for now. Let me know if I should give those to Isis again. I, I, I might have been told this already, but I can't remember. So, if you recommend that I give those to Isis, then I'll do it kind of items they have here. Okay, ethers. Mid ethers, which I have plenty of. Full ethers. Could pick up a few more of these. Mid ethers, could pick up a few more of those. But I do have Isis again. Okay, and we can get mega potions here, which yeah, I've already got a ton of them, so I don't need any more right now. All right, an ambrosia, yay! So where are we supposed to go again? Where I haven't played this for a few days. What the hell is this? Oh, I I don't know if I ever talked to that thing earlier before. But can we go this way? You cannot proceed. The entrance has been destroyed. Okay, I guess we're not going that way. So where are we going? And I don't know if you fought these guys before, but I'm going to use Dark Embrace on them. And annihilate their asses. Okay. Alright. So, I think the bridge was blocked off before, wasn't it? Well, we can teleport, so I guess we'll teleport to the Obsidian Rose again. Wait a minute. What the hell? Oh. So this lady sells, like, equipment and other crap. Okay. Uh, yes we do. Uh... I have opened up the way for you to head into the Infernus. Beware of two things though. The first is that once you leave here, you will not be able to return. So be sure you are properly equipped before leaving here. Secondly, be wary of Infernus' leader. He claims he is neutral when it comes to Valdres, though I highly doubt it. Be very careful. 
Okay. Alright, well I think we're all ready to go because uh, I stocked up on crap, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do it. Dorian Library? Okay, well that big tower looks to be the uh, the place we have to go, so let's do it. Hmm. Okay then. There is much to learn here about the Shenandoahian War amongst many other historical events. Events. Leave me be, I'm reading something very thought-provoking. For the atrocity of the gods will one day return when the Inferni Diadem and the Key to the Abyss are united. For that there is the most dreaded of them all is sealed. You please you must Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what do we gotta do? Cast it in the fire on the top of a mountain? said that the atrocity of the gods was destroyed, though I know better. Zeon was sealed away. For how long? That is the question which plagues me. Hmm. Lost poetry. Yeah, we're definitely not searching for lost poetry. Yes, very intriguing. Apollyon is an unbe unbelievably massive creature that once tore apart whole cities with a single swipe. If ever this creature should be unsealed, may the gods help us all. Okay, so I guess we'll have to look out for that creature then. This deed and must be taken to the fail for only they have the power to the rest of on track. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so we had to oh we gotta head to the Fey territory. Oh. Alright. Oh hello Krista. Other Krista. Okay, so Krista joins our party again. Yay! <laughs> so now we have two Kristas in our party. One of them looks pretty much identical to the other, except she's got a. Except she's. Except one of them's got a right eye patch, and the other one's got like a left eye patch or something. They have almost the same name. Looks like they almost have the same stats. Except it looks like uh, Red Hair Krista is a little bit stronger. Well, that's probably because she doesn't have the equipment that... Uh, yeah, the equipment probably isn't the same. That's probably has something to do with it. Parallels of the world. Recently it has come to light that many such worlds as our own exist, though we cannot see nor hear them. They exist parallel to our own world, and I believe each one of us is there in those worlds as well as here in our own. One such example of this are the two Iyers, one an Ivory Knight and the other a Crimson Knight. So yeah, okay, nearly identical yet opposites of one another. 
over a rip in the fabric of our reality. Many years ago, I have tried numerous times to speak with Krista Iyer without success. Uh, okay, we got a cutscene. Huh. Daughter of Shara and Exodus Lee of Verana. Who might you be, sir? Exodus? Well, really? Wow. Huh. Interesting. So maybe uh, Magra is actually the uh, opposite or antithesis of Magus then? Interesting. <laughs> okay. Volume is too tattered and afraid to read anything. Okay. You can pursue the li you can peruse, I should say, the library's bookcases at your leisure. Just be sure to put back what you take out. Yeah, of course. What the hell is this? Okay, the door is sealed. But um Alright, so I guess we gotta go to the What? What the hell? Yeah, what do you want, man? You will come to the summit of this tower if you can. Okay then. Well, I thought we were leaving, but I guess we're not. So, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, let's explore. Let's start exploring anyways. What the? Molestian Temple? This is not Salonia. How can this be here? Alright, so I guess, yeah, we gotta press onward. There's no way back. Nothing in that pot either. And we get attacked by some new enemies here, huh? Ow. Ghastly Soldier. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna be showing off Glory of Chaos then, huh? This new ability for Zyria. Since we've, uh, gotten her back. It's pretty damn powerful. Alright, here we go. Mega Potion. Nice. I will take it. And I will use it, hopefully. Alright, it's more new, or a new enemy. Uh, let's go with this. Four HP up. Hell yeah, man. Abilities make things a lot easier. All I gotta do is just stock up on ethers and should be good to go. Right? Another chest. Alright. And we get a Z potion. And a dark knowledge scroll. Alright. And I think I actually want to increase... How come I can't use... What the fuck? How come I gotta choose between these three? I can't just, uh... I can't just, you know, choose Zyria or... Or Isis or... I don't know, that's fucking random. Magus. Magus it is. Go. Uh, 
Might as well okay, nothing. Gotta check. Okay. Thing over here. Couple pots. Intellect boost. Alright. Okay. Nothing up there, so... Let's keep going. Save crystal, eh? Alright. So... We already have a crystal here. But, uh, yeah, that's probably a good time to end the episode now that I'm thinking about it. So that is all for this episode of Let's Play Chronicles of Dark Lord Episode 1, Tides of Fate. And in the next episode, we will continue exploring the Tower in Furnace. This is Vital121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.